Boom. Howdy everyone. So as you can see I'm still playing my Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild on my Nintendo Switch and it's been I think it's been almost two years already. But today I hope you're having the good time. We're going to be unboxing a new something very very special something related to Zelda and that's gonna be this Nandroid 733DX Link Breath of the Wild version DX edition Just look at the seal of Nintendo here and then look at the texture of the box. You can easily identify if it's a genuine or a fake one or bootleg, whatever they say. Let's move on to the actual unboxing. So I have prepared my hobby knife here. And then as you can see it's still the seal is in, still intact. So before we move on to link actual figure let's check what's inside the box from what I see there's a instruction manual I guess right there's an instruction manual both I think both in Japanese and there's English as well There you go, you can place Link I think here and then have the background. So here's what you get with the Android 733DX. Let's start with the accessories first. With your standard an Android set, you get this kind of stand. It's the seal. So here's the stand. There you go. But uh, there's actually a logo here that says 2017 Nintendo made in China. And then there's a. This is where you can attach the stand to link. You can just attach it like this one. And then have link attached to this kind of. And then there's a extra connection it's not much with the stand so let's just put this aside let's move on to links accessories so here is the vocal club not sure if this can be seen as you can see it's very detailed Then let's look at the sledgehammer. Let's look 
It looks like detailed as hell. Look at those silver buttons. And then there is, I think you can, you can have Link um, hold this, it's a, I think it's a chicken, fried chicken, yeah. Very tiny. And then you have Link's signature shield here. Again, it's very detailed, paintings and all. You also have Link's actual sword. I think here's one of the very detailed I've seen so far in a figure and that will be Link's bow and yeah bow and arrow here's the bow and here is the arrow and then other than that you have the Shika's Lake as well extra legs and arms in case you wanna have Link do some different poses let's zoom a little the horse can be posed as well as you can see there are joints everywhere Yeah, you can also rotate the head, the tail, and I think there's some kind of attachment here that you can have the horse hold the shield. But let's see. Um, this is actual fabric, I think. And what else is there? I think most of the things in the in Link's horse are movable, but that's all. And you have this extra head for Link. And then you can actually change the face plate for this just by Disassembling the actual hood. Get two parts here and there. You can remove this and replace and replace it with the one that you have right now. But for the sake of this review, we'll just leave it as is. So in the future, I'm gonna be doing some toy photography with Link and I'm very excited to do that. So just stay tuned on, on my blog. It's gonna be um, filipinomillennialhobbies.wordpress.com and you're gonna be seeing this review there as well. Again, you can change Link's head using this connection here, which is it has its own joint. Here is Link. It's just oh, okay. So this can be removed, I think. Yeah, 
you can also remove this not sure if you can attach something on Link's hair but that's gonna be it let's zoom out a little alright and you can also and the one I said earlier you can change Link's head with the one with the hood just attach it okay oh okay all right and um, if you can see the build for this nendroid is quite a bit rubbery as you can see I can press links um, tunic clothes then you can exchange links arms not sure about the hands too. yeah you can change also his arms his feet can be rotated and pose and I think it's lower part as well. Yeah. So in case you have extra androids, you can of course be creative and exchange it with the other parts. Mm, that will do, I guess. But now I can do it. Oh, there you go. So Link can stand on its own. Let me zoom in. There you go. Alright. So, as I said earlier, I'm gonna be doing a bit of a... or some more poses before I end this review. And it's gonna be shown on my blog, so stay tuned. But for the sake of this review, um... Again, we have we have the extra arms and legs, extra parts. We have the accessories. You have the shield. You have the bow. You have the uh, sword, boko club. You have the shika slate and the horse. You have the usual android stand, an extra head and face, and link itself. So before we wrap up wrap up this video I just wanted to say thank you to all the to all who watched this video and uh, let me know if you want more so I can create more I have a couple of um, uh, figures that I haven't unboxed yet but again uh, just to let you know I'm gonna be uh, featuring this video the end the rest of this nandroid on my blog that's gonna be filipino millennial hobbies that wordpress.com you can see it in the link below on the youtube and yeah just follow me in wordpress and stay tuned on my future articles but again i think i got cut off on my earlier video but um going back to the nandroid thing and it's this is roughly around 40 bucks US dollars and this is the DX edition so you get additional accessories so it's about $50 but again 
you get what you pay for you 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 get all the extra arms and all you get the extra accessories and you get those detailed hair from link everything is all detailed and everything can be posed and if you're into toy photography that will be an addition to the value of this android so um, we're wrapping up this video um, I hope uh, everyone who watched this video enjoyed and let's see if we can have another unboxing soon just keep on watching my videos and let me know if you have feedback or anything under the sun let me know we'll work it out alright thank you very much and see you soon bye